Right. Well, the, what they're saying is, look, we understand the situation in Orlando is challenging. We're hoping that they're working on it and going to get it better. But we're building a bubble, and our bubble will be safer. Our bubble will be safe whether it's in Orlando or whether bubble it's in... Bubble burst too soon for the NBA. Bubble burst too soon for the NBA. Does the NBA's bubble plan about to burst ahead of its target restart? The league is surely worried about the situation on their venue for the season restart, the Disney World in Florida. This was after the state recorded its highest single-day number of affected persons by the deadly coronavirus, 4,049 tested positive. ...that they'll do it, and that phrase is... Too big to fail. And Greeny, I... Well, you know, if you, you can pull up clips from this show with me talking to you in April, and I was talking about some of these things that are coming to fruition now, and I thought... Concern has been swirling around, especially for the players. But that it was not going to happen because of it. But I am going to be honest with you. I didn't understand how the momentum of this would work. And based on the conversations that I'm having across the league, yes, there's going to be players start testing positive tomorrow. Yes, we're going to have players who are so focused on the... Also recently, several players made a conference call among themselves to discuss their possible sit-out if the NBA will restart at the end of July. Societal challenges that we have that they can't play basketball. Yes, we're going to have players who say, I'm going to stay over here in Europe where I think it's going to be safer for my family. Yes, we're going to have players who are like, I don't think this is a good time for me to go to Orlando, not just because of the coronavirus, but because... I Commissioner Adam Silver was aware of the issue but still respected the player's decision. I've got free agency coming up and I'm worried about injury. And despite all of that, it's going to go forward. Whether that will be the mood in two weeks, I cannot tell you, but for now, this is going to happen. There's a lot of players excited about this. However, he insisted that the league will still go for its resume while applying heavy safety protocols. Right. Well, the, what they're saying is, look, we understand the situation in Orlando is challenging. We're hoping that they're working on it and going to get it better. But we're building a bubble and our bubble will be safer. Our bubble will be safe, whether it's in Orlando or whether it's in. Kathmandu. And part of this bubble, they just uh, showed the players some information yesterday on these these uh, tracking rings that they want them to wear that potentially could identify possible coronavirus infection a day or two ahead of when it might. Show up in a test and they're whether the players are actually going to wear it when they are away from basketball and and could potentially be monitored. That's another story altogether. But they have taken every precaution they can, Greeny, and they believe that this will insulate them and give them the best. Uh, Greeny, here, here's a good example. I talked to Victor Oladipo, uh, the all-star guard with the Pacers over the weekend, and uh, you know he's still uncertain whether he's going to fully commit to the bubble. He's going to return uh, to their camp. What I follow, Basta Sports, Jay Mello. Thank you very much, Bob. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.